Hey guys, what's up? Shane Wolf 38 here. I haven't made a tutorial video for a while, so I decided to make one on how to compact your targeting systems for your mini games or creations a lot. Because I keep on seeing these mini games made in the community which are just so large and can be compacted so 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 much. Now one example is I saw a battleship video recently um, played by a few big youtubers and the battleship map it was it was pretty big and there was a button pa pad much like the one right over here and to do his he had to have about four to five command blocks for each single button and there was a button pad on each side so there were hundreds and hundreds of command blocks to run this thing which I just thought was ridiculous because I have recreated almost the exact same thing with this small little system right here so let me show you the features of it you can see right here in the bottom right hand corner there is no ship and the ships are just going to be polished granite and there's our board that indicates whether or not we hit it if we click right here we should see an explosion now we are going to ex assume that this is the opponent's board so the explosion should occur right there hit it and we get that nice explosion and it says that we missed because there's no battleship there if we shoot there again there's not going to be an explosion you can see no explosion and it says you have already shot there and nothing is going to change on the board if we shoot the battleship right here you can see the explosion it will change into cracked stone and it says that we hit it if we shoot under we should miss yep now we missed and let's try to hit all the battleships and see what happens because oh whoops I actually already shot that that came in handy so there we go if we shoot above that we should hit another one and then above that we should miss yeah so there's the one right here can see we hit if we shoot to the right we should miss yep and to the left we should miss okay cool now let's actually yeah, just hit all the battleships like I previously stated there we go we hit hit those right here I think okay and then right here 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 and then one above that one and the last battleship is right here let's see what happens when we sink it you can see all your battleships have sunk, the map gets cleared, and it says you lose. We can actually place another battleship, just like this or something. If we shoot it where there was a battleship before, you can see it just it, it misses because it does have hit detection. And oh, Whoops, that's a miss. Right next to it. You can see we hit right above it. Hit, and then just surround hit the entire thing and we hit it so yeah that's very very cool it actually counts the number of blocks to detect when you lose so if I just keep on hitting stuff like this I've already shot most of the places so let me just carry it up here and just shoot these you can just wait until the board gets cleared okay all your battleships have sunk cool and as you can see it's actually blank behind here there's no command blocks and shut up that there the black wool will be explained in a second oh whoops I actually completely forgot to get rid of the block right there <laughs> wow but yeah it's it's really compact and if you want to add another side you could still have the exact same amount of stuff it's very very simple it would it would be the exact same size if you added another side so yeah it's I think it's really cool I really like the look of the display you actually don't have to use black wool behind it and you don't have to have this light or you could power the or you could just put the light right here and power it in a different way so that you could actually use this side for the other the other player but I just decided to eliminate one scoreboard objective by using that black wool so it saved me two command blocks that's why I did it let's quickly get into how this works basically there are 
49 different squares and there's three different places so that's 49 times 3 and that is how many armor stands we have we have 49 times 3 armor stands now if you do the math that's about 147 armor stands if my math is correct so yeah that's let's press 3 okay yeah we can actually see right up here we have 147 out of 148 because we do actually count as an entity that would have actually been a much simpler way to count it but yeah cool so 147 armor stands now this one has here there's a custom objective called target let me list the objectives and there's two actually so this has a target score of one this has a target score of two this one three four five six seven and then it goes back down eight nine ten so it's going to keep on going until we reach 49 right here and all of these have the exact same ones this one has a target score of two this i mean of one this one has a target score of two three four five six seven eight and so forth and the exact same thing with this right here you know one two three blah 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 49 <laughs> so yeah except the only difference is that these all have a name of selector these all have a name of bomb and these all have a name of hit so now that we know that let's get right into it we're going to be executing at every armor stand named selector and test if there is a wooden button that's been pressed right in front of them and if there is it's going to execute at every armor stand that's not a selector and use an operation command to set its dummy score equal to its target score. So the dummy is kind of like a carry objective, just going to carry over that score. And then it's going to execute at the selector that, you know, has the pressed wooden button behind it. And it's going to do an operation and it's going to subtract the selector that was pressed target score from the from every armor stand who's not a selector's dummy score so basically what's going to happen is this one has a target score of <laughs> of seven or no of six right over here this one has a target score of six this one also has a target score of six this one also has a target score of six so when it's pressed every armor stand over here it's going to have its dummy equal to its target and the dummy is going to subtract this armor stance target score which means if it's the exact same one since that one's six that one's six and this one's six six minus this is zero so every armor stand with a dummy score of zero is the armor stand we targeted and there should be two of them one right here and one right here because the one we selected was right here so very cool and then basically let's get on to the next part now that we know how the selector works now okay I'm gonna skip this part right here because that's a little bit later every armor stand named bomb with a dummy score of zero is going to play the lava particle above them then every armor stand named bomb who has a dummy score of zero is going to detect if there's stone two above them and if there is it's going to execute at every armor stand named hit with a dummy score of zero and set a red wool block behind it which means it got hit and this one is going to do um it's going to oh detect if there's stone two above it for the armor stand named bomb with a dummy score of zero and if there is a um, stone two above it it's going to set block stone one which is going to make it look cracked and then what it's going to do is it's going to execute every armor stand named bomb once more if there's air above it it's going to execute at the armor stand named hit with a dummy score of zero and place a wool block in front of it with a value of zero so it's going to be a white wool and it's just going to reset every oh sorry it's going to execute at every armor stand named selector and if there's a pressed wooden button it's just going to reset every armor stand named selector's dummy score and then i believe this is the oh yes okay yeah so then it's just going to execute at every armor stand named selector who okay detecting if there's a pressed wooden button behind them 
And if there is, it's just going to place a non-press button, which will, which is why it goes so quick. And so it only activates for one tick. And it's also why you can spam it decently fast. <laughs> okay, yeah, pretty cool. And the next part is the loss detection. So every armor stand named Bomb is going to detect if there is a stone one above them. And if there is, it's going to add to the closest player a dummy score of one. So if anybody who has a dummy score of 17 is going to fill the area from right here to right here and replace the entire area with air and it's going to replace all all of the wool and then it's just going to s replace the area on top of here from here to here and replace all stone with air so that will clear that and then it's going to just tell them a message saying that they lost and then it's just going to reset their dummy score it's going to reset anyone's dummy score if they have a dummy score of one so it's you know very simple if i set my dummy score to 17 I lose and that is the entire system and as you can see the map map actually comes out looking really nice you know I like the look of this display and then you got this little number pad over here and the the grid then the entire system right there which is very nice and small for what it does this actually only took me about I don't know, 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes max to build. I mean, it's very short. You know, I wouldn't make a battleship map like this if a billion people hadn't already done battleship in Minecraft. But yeah, I hope this kind of shows you how you can compact a lot of selectors in Minecraft. And it may make your creations a lot smaller than they would have been if you don't or if you did not utilize this trick in your creation so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed hope you learned a thing or two and if you did why not leave a like because that's always appreciated and yeah that's about it i'll see you guys in the next video i hope you enjoyed peace